In this class of tutorial for beginners, I want to show you how you can make this cluster uh, and we're going to learn this step by step and produce this parametric building with it. As you can see here, uh, we can change uh, the radius, which I'm going to explain in this tutorial. Uh, also, the movement we have, the number of divisions. And also, uh, we're going to convert this cluster into a building using some steps to finally get the results. So this class of tutorial for beginners is going to teach you how to use the VIV command uh, to make this pattern, uh, how we can use different data to connect them together and produce this parametric building. Uh, to get started from scratch, first what I want to do is uh, to produce two circles. So I'm going to go to the uh, curve a primitive and use this circle and uh, let's just go to the display full name uh, and uh, first I'm going to also give a point from the params menu so I can change the location of the circle and now we can define a radius so I'm going to just type a number to get a number slider and connect it to the radius okay so what we want to do in this tutorial is to produce two circles. First is going to be in the, the inner circle and the next one is going to be the outer circle like this. And what we want to do is to divide them into different parts. For example, if we divide this into four parts and also the red one, And assume that for this part, I'm going to pick a part of this curve, okay? So assume that we have this part of the curve. This is going to happen also for this one and for the other parts. And then I'm going to connect them together. So it's going to be something like this. And that is going to produce the final results. Uh, we can control the radiuses easily, we can con uh, control how much we want from the curves and get the final results and then convert that into the building. So at least we need two circles. Uh, I'm going to control C, control V this, give a shift key and make another circle just a little bit bigger.